Yeah, we are back with another video, man. We are reacting to something different, no music. You boy remember this boy from the other video. Bro, oh, this video no cancel. Please. And yes, as the as the as the as the title of the video says, right? Reacting to the problem with black YouTube. Is it a problem with black YouTube, right? We are also facing it here in Africa. Precisely Ghana. Don't shoot me in, sir. <laughs> yes. People do anything for views or no, the like. Why you push out What the f Ah, let me just keep quiet. Ah, ah, people do it. So, ah. let, let's just go straight into the video. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. She touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with you two. What do you think of a title? Exactly what I'm seeing. People do anything for views. Specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I have you seen that video? But I've not watched it, I've seen it. It's staged, yeah, it's staged. Yeah. This shit was staged. In 2021, that was when most YouTubers started doing a lot of stage things. That's when the stage family started coming out and so on and so forth. Even though there were some before that, but that was when it became a trend. Uh, the stage things. Our uh, Geo used to do a lot of them. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, myself. Rick on my friend to see how she reacts. He touched it. What the fuck? There's a problem with YouTube, specifically black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Berlizzi, AMP, RDC, and many others, and many others. And then you got this other side with these creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube, and all their videos are just based around sexual things. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make, and the other side is like that two dollar mcdonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes but the next day you feel like absolute it's kind of like yin and yang you know and in today's video i'm going to be talking about that other side of black youtube the terrible side now when it comes to the black community and content creation i feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea you know there always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it you can't just do a normal truth or dare it has to be a freaky truth or dare you can't just go on a blind date it has to be a freaky blind date the other day i literally seen a video titled i put my freaky ass parents on a blind date. We are getting to the point in content creation where we're putting our parents on blind dates and it has to be freaky? That is absolutely weird, if I'm being honest with you. Another trend that's pretty big in the black community are 20v1s. These videos hit the black community harder than crack in the 80s. I can't tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of 20v1s. Now, if you don't know what a 20v1 is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show where 20 people speed date one person, and by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people i'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by jubilee popularized by the sidemen and then the black community just took it by storm now don't get me wrong there are some genuinely funny 20v1s out there but then you got channels out here who are posting 20v1s every single week for example no love mar now if you don't know who no love mar is well he's a pretty big black youtuber who has 1.44 million subscribers but when you take a look at this man's channel basically all of his videos are 20v1s i I wouldn't be surprised if this man look at this man's channel. Basically, all of his videos are TV ones. I wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid. The way he's helping out everyone find love. I wouldn't be surprised if this I man. Started didn't... Watching, I started watching. I started. Sorry, I started. I started, I started watching no love more because of the ding dong date videos. Because <laughs> of his ding 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 dong date videos. Ding dong date. Ding dong date. Hit a 20v1 with the whole entire United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, this man should put me in a 20v1 to help me find some action. Like, come on. And what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20v1s that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20v1 with Krishan Rock and he wanted to do that idea first. I mean, there's literally a. This is the video. Uh, entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio them beating up the other guys and them taking the camera and the footage so it doesn't get uploaded to youtube 
Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the snaggletooth demon Krishan Rock? That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? No because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative and make something other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a topic before me and I fought him because of that. Isn't that the- I'm the guy who just sit in his room, fix the camera, talk his mind, and then you just give it 1 million views, 2 million views. Yeah, you show that, you show how this guy is Nico. The time Nico was talking about his guns, the boys also decided, Ah. Bro, you see what he brought out? I saw that video, I was like, what? the stupidest thing ever like it just doesn't make sense at all and what's even worse is that before every 21 that this does, he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get 750 dollars cash app from clicking the link in the description it just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious most of the florida youtubers used to do geo used to do it um king sid used to do it so many people used to do that cash app thing they'd be like cash app this cash app that cash app that cash app is that cash app scam because i don't, I don't, I don't know, know. Like people are getting it the people that they show you are getting it yeah i don't know if people yeah. are actually getting it they will say hey the link this that one. because uh this guy is also so he, he so so he just moved so, to so, so 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 do you know what will happen now he's talking about it whether it's a scam or not then we will listen to him okay Giant surveys and you get nothing from them. I mean, there's literally entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link. But you as a viewer, you get nothing because I mean, why would Cash App just give you $750? They would be broke if they just decide to do that. Yeah, you know when I realized that I was a scammer. You know Airbnb has a deal with Cash App, right? Okay. Every every yeah. CBS Santa video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've never said anything about this Cash App thing. It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is, but I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. We also have this other YouTuber right here named Real X Sean, and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20 v ones. Oh, it was the one with um, what's his name? Well, the one with Tyrell. I want the Tyrell and Punga um, TV one, a hey, 20 v one. I mean, nothing really else. But this man also, he spams that link in the description with that $750 cash app that you're never gonna get. And then you got another 20v1 YouTuber right here named Ryan with the sauce. And he also spams that link in the description with that $750 cash app. And what's also crazy about these 20v1 YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20v1s. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers are all the same. Even the freaking scam in the video they're all doing the same 750 dollars cash app scam even the scam in the video is the exact same these dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory bro like they're just printed every single freaking week every week i see a new up and coming 20v1 youtuber what's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20v1s which is very sad for you guys that don't know there's this rapper named la tyler and he's 17 years old and the youtuber no love mar he made a video with la tyler he made a 20v1 and it's disgusting if i'm being honest with you I Feel about sex on the first night. I don't think it's bad. Like if both of y'all vibing with each other, you peep the vibe. We grown. We grown. <laughs> There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? There. Uh, we grown. We grown. There's a bunch of grown women in there asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 v ones with Lil RT. And for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's not like the main character in these 20 v ones. He's like that little assist character that you have in freaking in Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. I mean, as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I Found Love from the help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine-year-old to help you find love? You also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT, and he's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If I would have cursed in front of my mom, I would wouldn't be here making this video today.
can you see someone's hand looks like this? Bro, what? Bro, see, bro. If I'm being real with you. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch if you don't know what this is well it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up and one by one they basically go through these lines what i say about this type of videos is i feel like this videos are just videos to boost egos and then reduce your self-esteem you see a guy you might see a guy you like in the lineup and then the guy doesn't like you and then you feel like or you are not what you think you are. You actually make you feel like that. It reduces your ego, it reduces your self esteem. It yeah. humbles the girls. It humbles the boys too. So these videos are, I don't know if I say they are too egotistical. I don't care about the boys, it humbles the girls. The girls go around, yeah, are three, you are acting like a 10. You are three, you are acting like a 10. say smash or pack. No, you are three, you are acting like a 10. Ah. You don't know, see your body on someone. Please! Is that because niggas, what do they call it? Niggas um, kiss their asses. Or, or niggas raise them to a certain place. There's a whole video on that. I think you should go and watch it. You know? should watch it. No, me. As to the person they're standing right in front of, it's pretty sad when you really think about it. If I had to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Comment down below. Is every girl a 10? Should every girl believe they are a 10? You don't know what you're thinking. You just won't comment it because you don't want that backlash. I'm not going to get backlash. Do you are going to get a backlash, not me. <laughs> but me, I'm quiet. I keep no, me, no, me, no, me, no, me, something. No, 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 all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their matches and stuff. Overall, my problem with black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest black youtuber of all time with zero originality Which is absolutely crazy and number two all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them And then once these kids click on them They're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid overall black YouTube is just down atrocious right now And it's honestly sad to see bro, but yeah, this is gonna wrap up for all scams and stuff Cool. Stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube is just down a trophy right now. And it's honestly sad to see, bro. But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. Proper thumbnail. I like your hair. Thanks for watching. Still. What do you have to say? Subscribe to this channel. Are you f ah, yeah. Bye bye.